Everyone's name is uh, Waterman, and uh, my name is Mitali. Here are my group members, Joanne, Michelle, Melinda, and Rachel. Um, Boost is one of the top brands in Europe. Boost is at the moment working towards expanding their market internationally, and that's where our campaign Waterman comes in. Um, their current range of flavors are sports, sugar-free, and energy drinks. Um, a little bit of stats, 60% uh, of women above are above the average weight, uh, leaning towards obesity. Now I'll pass it over to Joanne. Okay, so what our client wants, staying true to our parent company while introducing a noble range of products in the Middle Eastern market. So Boost is known for its uh, diverse flavors and products, and secondly, to create a healthier lifestyle in the UAE, and in UAE's fast-paced moving life. So basically, we want to uh, create a quick health routine for everyone by introducing them to it. Okay, so our range consists of six flavors, which are watermelon yellow, and that's made with kiwi and lemon. And we have watermelon cool, and that's made with mint and cucumber. We have watermelon spice, which is made with ginger, honey, and cinnamon, and watermelon green, that's made with aloe vera. And we also have watermelon black, and that's activated charcoal and watermelon peach. So all our flavors are rich sources of minerals such as vitamin A, C, and E, and they have medicinal properties such as helping um, detoxifying, helping with the immune system, and supporting indigestion. Uh, hi, I'm going to be talking about our product. So this is what our bottle prototype is going to look like. We've come up with the name Watermin by combining the words water and minerals. Our, um, we have a label which will imply our brand and product name as well as the composition just so the users are aware of what is what actually goes into the water. We'll also have in the center a flavor enhancer just to give a, a different look of our packaging. Looking at our pricing, we have our pricing a little higher to our existing um, competitors at 5 dirhams for 500 ml. And this is because as a flavored water, we're uh, providing health benefits. Okay. Um, so we have two objectives and our strategies are similar. So our objective is uh, firstly to bring forth a healthy alternative to energy drinks and sodas. And secondly, to generate brand awareness and interest among consumers, thereby increasing sales. Uh, our target audience, we live in a fast-moving uh, place such as Dubai, so therefore everyone is really tired at the end of the day. So this leads uh, a person to go for the easy option of takeout foods. This leads to high cholesterol and obesity. Uh, the youth aging from 16 to 25 is our target audience and they take up almost 30% of the population. They have a cholesterol as equal and as high as a 60-year-old man. We are hoping the launch of Waterman can help lower these levels of unhealthy lifestyles. Our competitors, uh, we have analyzed ours and uh, our research shows our main competitors are Masaki and Alain. Masaki sells their favorite water for three dirhams, while Alain sells theirs for two dirhams. Uh, looking at another SWOT analysis, our weakness is that we're a new brand and since we have no um, existing consumers in the market, people are unaware of them. We also know that our price point is a little higher compared to our existing um, competitors. Looking at our strengths, our packaging design is a, a lot different from what the current flavor, water, water range um, that Masafi and Alain provides. Also, there are flavors that are new. We don't have any water, including like activated charcoal or things like aloe vera and honey. And in, uh, as a healthy alternative, uh, the flavored waters here are just marketed as being um, like uh, just it's just a flavor enhancer to water. But we're looking at health benefits as well. Uh, our threats also happen to be our existing competitors, which is Masafi and Alain. And our opportunity is that we're looking to bring forward a little healthier alternative to sodas. So we're looking to switch from our, the, healthy life, uh, the unhealthy lifestyle that the public in the UAE follows. Our best analysis. 
we know that the Duba, uh, the UA market is a monarchy and the advertising market, the advertising standards here are quite strict when it comes to cultural norms, social norms, and the moral code. We need to stick by these in order to uh, have our advertisements being aired. We're also looking at the economic and social where there are no taxes involved and the people here live a very laid back sedentary lifestyle. Our technology is that the UAE is very tech friendly and that's why it's very easy for us to go on and launch this social, uh, on social media as well. Thank you. 